off my stage. My five-month-old son was violently shaken. My nephew is in a coma. They don't believe he will ever come out. Your ex and the sister are accusing you of shaking. No, son. that's ridiculous. Delphi is the most horrible person I've ever met in my entire life. Son of a bitch! Ma'am. Son of a bitch! I'm the one that's there when he's crying at night. I'm the one that's there that sees him in pain. I believe that she either shook him or was not a good mother to begin with. Liar! You don't do anything for I him. Mean, did you call her and say, how's my son doing today? Every time I call her, that is what But I did you call? Did you call? Me. Did you, call? Yeah. you have a son, damn it! It's like I was playing with my baby and somebody just walked up and turned him off and I can't turn him back on. I believe Delphia is evil. When I think of Delphia, I think of the devil. Five months ago, Delphia and Norman's infant son was rushed to the hospital after being violently shaken. The child is currently 10 months old and this abuse has left them in a coma. A suspect has been charged with this crime, but Norman and his sister Tiffany are convinced that the police have the wrong person. They say that Delphia never wanted this child and believe that she is the one who shook her baby. Take a look. My five-month-old son was violently shaken. Um, the first time I heard about the incident was 14 days after it happened. I was at work and I received a text message that said, did I want to come see my son before he died? I instantly fell apart. I fell to my knees in the middle of the kitchen and just started crying. Delphia is my ex-girlfriend. Uh, we have a child together. I believe D Delphia is evil and that she shook my nephew and that's why he's in a coma. I want to know what happened to my son, and I want to know if she had any part of it. Me and my brother have not been able to get a straight story from Delphia at all. The only thing we have heard is that she wasn't there. The only reason why I believe she honestly contacted me is because I am on his birth certificate, and she couldn't pull his life support plug without my permission. If she didn't have anything to do with this, why did it take her two weeks to tell me and my brother that anything had even happened to this child? I was bombarded by a million doctors and all sorts of people telling me the same thing, that he was never going to wake up, he was never going to get any better, and to just pull his plug and watch him die. I just, I needed five minutes, you know, at least to think about it. She had two weeks to sit up there and think about it, and it was just dropped on me like that. And the conclusion that I came to was that it was in God's hands. And we pulled his plug, and whenever he didn't die, <clears throat> It wasn't even 15 minutes after that that she looked at me and she said, are you going to pay for in-home care for him? Because you can see he's not going to die. Right now, my nephew is in a coma. They don't believe he will ever come out. They say if he does, he will be blind. He has so much brain damage. They honestly don't believe that this was done just once. Like that the tissue between his eyes and his brain is disconnected and he'll be blind for the rest of his life. Whenever we first got together, it was rainbows and butterflies. Everything was perfect. And about four and a half, five months into it, she just complete 180 and turned into the worst person I've ever met in my entire life. I honestly believe Delphia did abuse my son. Right now, the police have someone else in custody for this, but I believe that she's just as much at fault. Delphia has been extremely difficult to try to communicate with to be able to see my son. She's made it basically impossible in his entire life. I've only ever got to see him four times, and one time was after this incident had occurred. Delphia has never been a good mother in my eyes. Delphia is just completely all about the money. I mean, she's received, as far as I know, a very large sum of money as in donations for this, and instead of putting it away for him or using it for things for him, I've heard that she's got a car with it and got her own place with it. I don't believe she ever wanted this child because when she was pregnant, I asked her what she wanted, boy or girl, and she said she planned on having a miscarriage. Delphia is the most horrible person I've ever met in my entire life. When I think of Delphia, I think of the devil. If she does pass this test, I want to be able to see my son 
and there to be no fighting and no arguing amongst us and just both of us be there for our son. If Delphia fails this test, I don't want her to ever be around my son or myself ever again. This child will lay in a bed for the rest of his life and she can't even give me an answer why. Delphia made me miss the best parts of my son's life and I'll never get that back. Is he a beautiful baby? He looks just like me. I have seen a complete change in my brother. He is broken inside. I feel like his spirit has been broken. I can't even think right now. I'm sorry. Um, ever since this happened, like, I've kind of lost all emotion, like, toward everything. Like, I get sad sometimes, but aside from that, like, I don't ever really feel anything anymore. And I feel completely helpless and hopeless. Like. As bad as I want to be able to see him, it breaks my heart to see him because I can't do anything. I can't, I can't make him better. And it breaks my heart every day. What's your reaction to what they were saying on there? It's all lies. Any truth to anything they said? No. It's... It's such a horrible story, right? I see a picture of your, your son, who's just a gorgeous little boy, and you wonder why things like this have to happen. I mean, this time of year, you should be getting ready for, what, his first Christmas? And he's in a coma. You're accused of shaking no, that's ridiculous. I was at work at the time, and they know it. Why is it that your ex and his sister believe that you have something to do with this? Because he feels guilty that he was never there to start with. That's the only reason I can think of. Uh, I get from the tape that he, like, he wants to see his son, but you're not allowing to him. That's ridiculous. I've given him every opportunity. I would have it lined up to where I would take that day to his sister's house where he was and they could be with him, you know? And I needed help. I needed him to be there in the first place. And he would always call and say, oh, well, I lost my job, so I can't do that today. Or every time. What happened the day uh, your son was injured? What happened that day? I was at work and around 2.30 I got a call at work from the paramedics and they said that my son wasn't breathing and that they were, and that they took him to the hospital. They did an MRI and they said that he had minimal brain activity and when we take the ventilator out that he would die. He was on the ventilator for a few weeks, they kept asking me, when am I going to take it out? When am I going to take it out? And I couldn't decide who was, on my... Who was asking you this? The doctors. Okay. And did, Nor didn't and did Norman know this was going on? I tried to get a hold of him since it happened for two weeks. And how come... He didn't give me a phone number that worked. It's like I was playing with my baby and somebody just walked up and turned him off. And I can't turn him back on. Son of a brat! Son of a brat! I'm the one that's there when he's crying at night. I'm the one that's there that sees him in pain. It's like I was playing with my baby and somebody just walked up and turned him off. And I can't turn him back on. He ever help you with the child? No. Or? And how long has he been in a coma now? He's still in a persistent vegetative state. And is that going to be permanent or? So somebody that you had given your child to to watch while you're at work is the person that is locked up for this? Yes. And any explanation why that person would do something like that? They're a monster. I don't know of any other explanation other than that they're a monster. Like, I don't even know. Did, did that person ever, um, and I'm, I'm saying this uh, in case people are at home watching why 
it's it's a criminal proceeding that's still underway, so I can't be very specific of who this is or uh, what exactly they did. But did that person ever give you a reason why they did this? Like I, I, I shook the baby because he wouldn't stop crying, or you know, you hear that. All a lot. I know is the police said he confessed to shaking my son. Okay, so you felt that this person is capable of watching your child while you went to work. Okay, and he had done it before. He had and done it before. And Norman, because they're like saying, "Oh, you're so evil. You're the worst person in the world." Did they ever say, "Hey, we'll watch your son while"? No. He's look. never offered did you, to did watch you ask his son. Him? I begged, like, I remember just begging, call. I got him to answer. I would beg and beg. He would hang up, get mad. I'd call him back just over and over. And Now they say since your son's been in this state that there's been um, donations made for your son, My friend, money pouring in, yeah. and that you now are all about the money, that you're taking the money and you're buying a car and you're spending I had my car when I was pregnant and I can prove it to you I bought my car when I was five months pregnant when I wasn't supposed to be working that much in the first place I did it anyway I got the car it's a used car the transmission's going out the donations are supposed to be for education for, to raise awareness of child abuse it's one in four cases that it's shaken baby syndrome I haven't seen a dime of that money yet. I make $450 a month on his disability. That's it. Where would they get that? The donations, we bought a robo baby to demonstrate the effects of what it does, and that's all we've done so far, as far as I know. I haven't got any money from it. My friend does all that stuff. I don't even have internet to do it anymore. What are you, I mean, you're here today under just, you know, terrible circumstances. Why did you come today? Because I wanted to prove I had nothing to do with my son getting hurt like this and that he has never been a father to his son. And he's not going to sit there and say that I am was ever mean to my baby because I love my baby. <laughs> Your son is home with you, right? And how is that, taking care of him in, in this state that he's in? It's like I was playing with my baby, and somebody just walked up and turned him off, and I can't turn him back on. And I got to imagine it's very, very hard uh, taking care of a child in that, in that state. He has constant doctor's appointments. Doctor, he don't even know any of his doctors. You know, just, he don't... Does his eyes open? His eyes open. He has corneal blindness. Like, he can see for a little while, and then it'll go away. And his brain will never process what he does see, if anything. We can't tell yet because he's not older. And I want to ask you, who do you blame for this happening to your son? The, well, the caretaker that the did caretaker. it. The caretaker. Do you blame Norman at all for this? If he had been there to start with, it wouldn't have happened. Son of a bitch! I'm the one that's there when he's crying at night. I'm the one that's there that sees him in pain. Did you call her and say, how's my son doing today? Every time I call her, that is what But did you call? Oh. You have a son, damn it! You're here, you want to clear your name. Uh, uh, again, I feel for you as a young mother, okay? I feel terrible. 
um, for your son. And how old is he now? He's 10 months old. He's 10 months old. I want to bring out Norman now. Let's bring out Norman. Because this is all I ever get to see whenever no. I see you. Liar! Delphia, this is how you are all the time. Every time you see me, this is what because you are. Because you don't do anything for I him. I've my child support. I've given you. What I about have... the day I told you to come pick him up and you told me you lost your I... job and that you can't make it? Like, Every time you can't off. make it. Every time. Why? You can't you expect know. somebody that's you. homeless living on the side of the road to be there. I, I was homeless I, when I was pregnant! You're a grown-ass man! You can not... work whenever you want to! <laughs> You're a grown-ass man! You can work whenever you want for whoever you want! You're not the one that's pregnant with a high-risk pregnancy! You cheated on me. You oh, left God. me. What does that have to do with your okay. son? Okay. You cheated on me. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. The seriousness of this topic right. that we're covering, your son, who is in a vegetative state, who was shaken into a coma, right. you really want to, she's, she's a 20-year-old girl. Right. 20, she's 20 years old. She was raising a son, trying to work, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, she wasn't getting any help from you. She wouldn't let me be there. Uh, why wouldn't she let you help? I, I find that hard to believe. Do you see how she just exploded right yeah, here? Yeah, because her son is in a vegetative state. My son's in a vegetated state too. You don't even know your son! You don't even know what his favorite baby food was! Since your son has been in the state, how many times have you seen him? In his whole life, I've only ever got to see him four times. Got to see him? You stood there! You stood there! The one time I run into you on the street with my child in the car, you stood there! I said, say something to him! You said, he knows I love him. And you walked away! Did not you true. not? That is not true. Delphi. Liar! Um, why have you only <laughs> seen him four times? Whenever me and her were together, whenever she left, I lost all contact with her. She finally contacted you me. You don't keep a phone number. What's your phone number? You know my sister's What's number. You know number? where my sister lives. Okay, you... but the point is you both live in the same town. Right. You have a little boy with her. Yes, you sir. really, you, you don't want to see him. You don't track you down. You don't say, hey, let's go see my son. I had asked multiple times. I had no, asked. You hold never on, hold showed on. up. Hold on. Listen, I'm not saying I asked multiple times. If I had a child, and even if that person said, no, 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 you can't see him, I'd be like, no, 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 I'm going to, and you're not stopping me. <laughs> Why didn't you go see your son? And don't tell me, but you didn't know where he was and all that. I mean, 10 months old, he's been in a coma, and you've seen him four times in his life. How many, and, and let's, let's, how many, when, how long ago did this happen? How old was he at the time? He was five months old. Five months old. How many times did you see him before this happened? Before it happened, I got to see him three times. Three times. Running so you've seen him only on once since he's been in a coma? Well, twice, if you count the, okay. the other day. Well, yeah, running on the street. I, I don't know if I call that much of a visit. Right. I don't, listen, I, I, I don't know what she did or what she didn't do, okay? We're going to find out. I do. Okay. But what I do know is, it didn't seem like you made a lot of effort to go see your son. Okay. You couldn't find her, you know, you, you know, she said no, oh well, then I can't see my son. Did you give her any money? Yes, I gave her child support money. How often? I pay my child support every month. I don't even see it. It goes to child care subsidies. I've told you that a million times. And he's not a cable bill. I can't raise a child on $50 a month. <laughs> Do you, do you believe that Delphia, she herself injured your son? 
I mean, uh, it's possible. It it's is very possible. possible. And why do you say that? She, she would pick up a five-month-old baby and shake it so hard that she put her son into a coma? I mean, whenever we were together, all I could do was say the wrong word, and she'd punch me inside the head and tell me I deserved it. So, I mean, what's the difference? You did deserve it, and I did do that. There's How no about you admit what you've done? Did you call her and say, how's my son doing today? Every time I call her, that is what But I did you call? call me. Did you call? You have a son, damn it! I believe that she either shook him or was not a good mother to begin with. You are the father. Get off my stage. Did you call her and say, how's my son doing today? Every time I call her, that is what But I did you call? Oh. You have a son, damn it! Were you ever violent with her? No. Was he ever violent with you? He screamed at me one time and punched the steering wheel until it broke. Well, it's not. No, he's not violent. <laughs> as far as I know. This baby who will probably never be normal ever again, will never get to enjoy the things that we all in this room get to enjoy. Uh, well, just take me for example. Laying on my couch, watching a football game with my son. Doing it last night, right? My son laying on top of me, we're watching football. The greatest feeling in my life, right? You'll never get to do that. Why didn't you show up when the baby was born? I was not allowed to be there. Who? By who? I, I you. told you where I was. I you was there for five days. You didn't show up. Does that part you of the You said, why? I don't even think he's mine. Failed, then you, you made me run me a paternity test. So you'd have an extra month to not pay child support. You told me I could okay, not but there's be there. Okay, but you know he's your son. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, how, I guess two weeks went by. You didn't know he was in a coma. She said she couldn't check you down. Um, and again, same thing with her. I think she had a lot on her plate. I, I, I don't believe that she couldn't have tracked you down. But I think she was overwhelmed, her son being in the state that he was. I mean, I think everybody can understand that. But, I mean, this had to be in the papers in your hometown. It had to be on the news. The police locked somebody up. This, this had to be in the papers. You really didn't know for I two weeks? I really did not know. You don't read the paper? I don't read You don't the watch TV. the news? You don't answer I your don't phone? Watch TV. Did you call her and say, how's my son doing today? Every time I call her, that is what But I did you, you call? You don't call me. Did you call? In those two weeks. Why though, not? Why not? Because you only call You somebody. have a son, damn it! Okay, okay. <laughs> this is what's going to drive me crazy, right? You come on this tape and you, you, you know, she's the most evil person in the world. I think that's what you said. She's the most evil, she's the devil. And your sister completely trashed her. She's so horrible and she might be. She might fail this life. Maybe she took that baby and she shook him. I don't know. But here you're, you're trashing her, your sister's trashing her, and you don't even give a damn. You don't give a damn about your son because you're not calling. You're not finding out. You're not, you hey, is he eating? Is. is he in a nice, safe, warm bed? Uh, does he have a toy to play with? You don't give a You, that's the truth of this story. You didn't give a until you found out after the fact that he was in a coma. But you, if you would have been doing anything in those two weeks that, you know, he was in a coma, but even before that, maybe this doesn't happen, right? So aren't you just as responsible? Aren't you just as responsible that that baby's in a, a, in a state that it is? I don't feel that You don't way. think so? Okay, so I'll give you another little example. Um, after this show tonight, I decide I'm gonna become an alcoholic or a drug user, right? And I start, you know, getting drunk every night. I start doing drugs. I don't come home. My wife's wondering, oh, where the hell is Steve at? Two weeks later, I, you know, they find me laying in the alley. <laughs> and during that two weeks, you know, somebody comes, kicks my door in and beats my family up, puts my son in a coma. Am I responsible at all? Yes. Yeah, because it's my job to protect my family, right? <laughs> what instinct did, what made you not pick up the phone and find out how your son was? You didn't want to talk to him? 
Every day, that, if I have to travel out of town, I have to come home. If I Every day, I'm on the phone with my kids. Crazy. Because she wouldn't. You let it because she. Well, how much you weigh? How much you weigh? One fifteen. One fifteen. One hundred fifteen pounds of flesh kept you from seeing your son. I, I, I can see why, because, you know, you're standing here. You have no fight in you whatsoever. You want to stand on stage and just, she's so horrible, she's so horrible. And we're going to find out if she's so horrible. But you are lacking. You're lacking in courage. You're lacking in bravery. You're lacking, you're lacking in, in manhood. You're lacking in protecting your son. You're lacking. <laughs> And now, I'm gonna love to hear what your sister has to say. Let's bring out Tiffany. Regarding your son, did you cause any of his injuries? She answered no. Did you cause any of his injuries? She answered no. Do you think that uh, Delphia had something to do yes, I do. with shaking? And tell me, tell me what you think. I believe that she either shook him or was not a good mother to begin with, and the gentleman or whatever seen this and maybe believed he thought it was okay. She didn't know the caretaker that long. Regardless, but if how, you didn't do okay. it, I believe you were negligent to okay. who was around the child. Because she wasn't around the child, right? Correct. You well, how come he wasn't? Either. Okay. All right. So we okay. sure as hell weren't either. Okay. You sure as hell yeah. weren't either. Okay. Well, it's not her responsibility. Okay. But why wasn't your or brother his. watching Every time out? he did speak to her on the phone, he did use my phone. He did not have a phone. That is correct. Who cares? Exactly. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. She told him if he could not take the child for at least a week or two at a time, and him being homeless, that is impossible. What do you mean he was homeless? He was homeless. I he was homeless when I was pregnant. Okay. Okay. You, okay. Couldn't, you wouldn't take That's him okay. in? That's yeah, okay. That's okay. 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 Relax, um, relax. Yeah, relax. she's the devil, okay. but okay. Uh, she, I can be. I don't know if okay. she's the devil. Um, she's got you full Steve, but it's okay. okay. I, I am not excusing her. Oh, I understand. She, she might have done it. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is there's two sides, right? Yes. There's a father that didn't do anything yes. for his son. She had the son. She tried to go out and work. She didn't well, have it. She, she couldn't give the baby to him because he wouldn't take the baby. Well, he was homeless. Okay. And I mean, so was I. Okay. Would you have taken your Excuse. nephew? Excuse I was supposed to take the child two days before this happened. Okay. I have three children. My three brother children told her. Three children by a deadbeat. You kept having kids okay. with him. Okay. Well, now, wait a second. To do with I don't that. mean to cut nothing you off. Nothing to do with but him. You're, Keep he having was, kids with him. Okay. Stop. Stop. He was telling me that he couldn't get to me because he was working so much. Yeah, that's so it was the thing. I was going to take care of the child while he was at work. But what I'm he saying, if he's working so much, how, how is he homeless? How about his dad take care of him? He, he, does, he does pay child support. I know $50 is not a lot. He does pay child okay, support to I don't care about that, And though. other children. But other why, child. how is he homeless if he's working so much? It's just, he's he has other bills and other things he had to take care of. I mean, okay, I don't so know if you're, okay, if you're homeless and you can't afford to buy a place to put over your own head, should he be having any children at all? No, but he was not homeless when she became pregnant. So, okay. so how did he become homeless? So he had it lost okay a job. He's homeless. Couldn't pay it his rent. It makes it okay because he's homeless. It to the best. How is that okay? I never so, said it was okay, so, Joe. Then why are you saying it? Okay. What does it matter? Okay. Okay. What does it matter? 
Sure. Stop, stop. Oh, calm down. Even though, uh, first of all, terrible tragedy. Yes, right? it oh, is. You got three and kids. And I love my nephew, and you know for a fact, every Where? time I see you. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm sorry. Every time I see her. Okay. Stop. Stop. That's stop. a lie. Every stop. time I seen her, what? I held the child. I talked to him. I seen him two days. You walked to his stroller. I didn't hold him. I didn't hold him. I know. Where did you see him? Where did you see him? Excuse me. Where did you Walmart. And you ain't going <laughs> I seen him in town a couple of times. Okay. I did not directly have a phone number for her. I don't, you know, in my opinion, I don't have to have anything to do with her. He had a number for her. Exactly. I never asked for it. Do you feel you know your I'm brother saying? at all is uh, responsible, lacking that this happened? I mean, I know he could have seen the He could have done a lot more. more. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like and in if the he did situation some more, he was this in, this might not have happened. Yes. And I, like I was saying, we were supposed he to He didn't take even love her. He's having kids with her. Right. He didn't know her long enough, in my opinion, to have children. <laughs> a month? At all. Yeah. Come on. Now, my wife informed me that we administered, um, Dan Rebikoff, our lie detector examiner, he administered a new test that is, um, that I guess, that he just learned how to do. Hmm. Uh, we're going to bring Dan out so he can explain that, and then we're going to get to the results. Let's out bring out Dan Rebikoff. <laughs> Uh, you're here for the tough stories. This is a, a, a tough Very story. Tough story. Um, and, and to me, it's not so much of a case. I, I, I'm going to say, if she picked up the baby her safe and shook it, uh, I'll be a little surprised. Only because the police didn't get involved in this case. Sure. They did an investigation. She was at work. They determined. Um, but to me, this is a really sad case of a little boy being failed by many people. Not one, but, you know, all parties involved here. I agree. Uh, I agree. But you administered a new test that you're going to explain. Sure, Steve. It's a test that I haven't used here often. Um, it is relatively new when it comes to polygraph techniques, but not brand new. What it's called is called an evidence statement polygraph. And what I do is I take the emotional words out of it. So we use it a lot with rape victims, um, people who are being accused of you know, injuring a child who have been through traumatic experiences. And really the accuracy of the polygraph comes in the examiner selecting the proper test for the situation and for the examinee. So every test is not proper for everyone. So in evaluating um, Delphia when we were speaking, I said, you know what, I really don't want to ask her the emotional question of injuring the baby and causing the brain injury. So what I did was I had an evidence statement, which is a piece of paper, and I go, evidence statement. Regarding your child, did you cause those injuries? She answered, no. I then test her. Regarding your evidence statement, did you answer that question truthfully? And variations of that question. So that's the way we administered the test, so that we wouldn't invoke an emotional response from her and get a very accurate polygraph. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Um, uh, and you know, this is a story, and I say all the time when people are lying to each other about cheating or whatever, that you know, this is a piece of paper, it's not going to change anybody's life. I certainly wish in this case that this piece of paper could, could change, change your son's life. Yeah. I wish somehow this would be so he could see again, so he would know what he's seeing, so he could talk, so he could play, so he could lay on his dad's chest so and watch the football present. game. I wish, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen. But maybe what's in here will give everybody, I hope, some peace of mind so that they can work together to help this little boy. It's too late for him, I'm sorry. You are the cop. Get off my stage. When you're struggling and you got nobody else to turn to again, you might want to think that Norman might step up to the plate. Um, no, might should have already done it. <laughs> Good decision. Delphia came here and we gave her a lie detector test. And as you heard, 
I think we gave her a very thorough examination. And this story comes down to whether or not you injured your son. And we asked Althea, regarding your son, did you cause any of his injuries? She answered no. And the result for her lie detector test is that Althea told the truth. for coming Thank on the show. Yeah. Empath- Fox Empath- 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 better than both, you clowns! It's okay, you still neglected him by leaving him with someone you didn't know. So there you go. You don't even know the f- I'll take another test! I'll take another test! Okay. Okay. She's here today because you accused her of many things, but of injuring your son. I don't believe that. The police didn't believe it. She's here today. She took a very comprehensive lie detector exam. What do you want to say to her? I apologize. That's not good enough for my baby. That is not good enough for my baby. That is not good enough for my son. Okay. Okay. Um, I think, at the very least, um, you, you made a situation even worse because you, you blamed her for doing something that she didn't. And I'm you knew, the only one who on. did anything for You know the police that, you know, they lock somebody else up for this matter. Um, can you imagine being 20? She's taking care of this child that probably needs round the clock uh, care, can never be left you know alone. And right what here. kind of pressure is that on her? And no matter what you say, you didn't add one small thing. You didn't bring anything to the plate here. Nothing. Would you be willing to change, to, to find something in you to help this young woman care for your son? Yes. Okay. You can track her down? I know oh, this person. Please, please, please. He's lying. Please. Are you going to help with your son? Yes, Do you sir. not think that it's not too late? That, that is not, my son does not deserve to be ignored and then ignored after that. No, he doesn't deserve that. And he doesn't deserve another chance to be with my baby because my baby is too perfect for him. And he's lying about wanting to be, still ain't gonna be. And even if he is, he don't deserve to be. Okay. It's certainly up to you to make that call. I just would say, think about your son and what his needs will be in the future. He can be around him, he can be with him. Okay. That's up to In you. your own house that you're paying for, not mine. You're paying your own bills. You're paying for his formula, not me. Do what I did. Try doing it without my help. Um. And on that note, we're going to end the show, and you'll let us know whether he has in himself to find you and give you and help. And you're not doing it without a nurse near you either. Okay. Let's, uh, we're not going to put conditions on right pace. now. You'll let us know in a few months whether he stepped up and helped you. Either he's going to do it or he's not going to do it. I already know, but we yes, know, I'll let you know. We know you're going to do it, right? All right. What's your Good phone number? Good luck to you. The show's over. open to all the help that you can get with your son. That's all I'm saying. There I know isn't you're angry. enough right I know, now. I know there's not enough. That's why I say don't close off any avenues. Take as much as you can get. You okay? cannot take care of him without a nurse. You know what? He's going to have to no do No one's even giving me a nurse. I know. Screw her, she that's, is that's one. That's what I'm saying. Take whatever you can get, OK? Good luck. And you're going to let us know, right? And you stay in touch with us, and we'll help you, OK? <laughs> Stay tuned. We have an update on this story you don't want to miss. We recently received an update from Delphia. Here's what she had to say. Hi, Steve. This is Delphia. 
I wanted to call to thank you for helping me clear my name and Norman still hasn't contacted me, but I'm still going to continue to do what I'm doing for my son and I just can't thank you enough for helping me clear my name. If there's anything you guys ever need, just give me a call. Hey Delphia, thanks for the update. I want to encourage you to stay strong for your son and hopefully one day Norman will step up and be a real father to your little boy. Stay.